Hello everyone. This is question number 13 in the book of questions. Now this one goes, if it were the only way you could remain with the love of your life, would you be willing for both of you to wake up tomorrow as native speakers of an unfamiliar foreign language? Knowing that within a week you'd permanently forget the languages you now speak and largely be cut off from your friends and culture. If so, what new language would you want to speak and why? Well, uh, this may make me come across as a selfish ass or something like that, but I kind of like my language and culture and all of that, you know? Uh, so, for the most part, no, I wouldn't be willing to do this. Uh, there is a small chance that I would be willing to make this choice, but that would be only be if I could discuss it with this uh, alleged love of my life ahead of time, and I would know in advance that as part of the losing the language that I already have and waking up with the new language, I would have the a reasonable opportunity to get by. So if I was going to wake up with, you know, uh, being a native English speaker of another language and I was going to be exactly where I am now, that would not be good. Uh, so I would need some sort of assurance that I would be in a, pos in, in a location where that new language would be useful. Uh, and I would hope I would have or be able to pick up the knowledge necessary to get by in that location relatively quickly. And I suspect a similar uh, sort of uh, thought process would, would be going through the head of this alleged love of my life. Now, I think, for, for the most part though, love of my life or not, I would not choose to do this. And it's for a simple reason. I don't want to change the, the basics of my life that much. I'm happy with English as a first and basically only language. I have nothing against other languages or anything of that sort, but English serves me well. Uh, and I don't have a need for another language. If I did, I would learn it. Now, I'm losing my culture, being cut off from friends and so on, that's less of a factor in the decision uh, than, than you might think. Uh, I could easily get along with a different set of cultural, uh, you know, bits, you know. Uh, it, it wouldn't make all that much of a difference to me, realistically. Uh, sure, there'd be a period of adjustment and culture shock and all of that, but generally, I don't think there'd be an issue there. Uh, so, uh, really, uh, what it comes down to, I think, uh, for, for this point in time, now if it was a different point in history, say there was a clear dominant culture with a different language that was had a clear uh, benefit, then I might want to choose that, to change and uh, switch over into that, that language group. But as it stands right now in the world, English does really well. So I don't, I don't see that there's a lot of objective benefit here. Now you might think, oh yeah, but it's the love of your life. Wouldn't you want to be together? Well, yeah, I, I, I probably would, but for one, I don't believe in the so-called true love. So, sure, I might think this person is the love of my life now, but, but will I think that in six months or five years, right? So, uh, I, I think it's too much of a risk to take. Uh, so really, uh, that's my answer. No, I wouldn't. 
Uh, now let's just take on a hypo the, the, the last part of this hypothetically. Uh, what language would I want to choose uh, if, uh, if, if I was to make this choice? And this is not an easy question either. Uh, as I, I would generally prefer a language that has uh, a good chance of, uh, of doing well in the, in the world at large, but I also want a language that's spoken somewhere with uh, decent uh, uh, you know, cultural setup, uh, decent uh, technological advancement, standard living, and so on. So I'd be looking at languages that would get do me well in, in areas like Western Europe or uh, uh, say, uh, uh, you know, Japan, uh, South Korea, you know, things like that. Uh, but I don't know which one would necessarily be better. Um, if I was going to pick a European language, I think I'd go with German. Uh, and I don't have any particularly solid reason for that, other than that I think the uh, the Germans have a, a an industriousness about them that uh, is kind of endearing, um, and it, it seems like it'd be a good place to be uh, in the at least near future. Uh, if I was going to pick some something else, uh, I'd probably go with Japanese, and that's mostly because. I kind of like the anime thing, so I would get that as a benefit, right? Uh, but it's really uh, pick a bunch of them, toss them up in the air, grab one out at random as they fall. You know, it, it, it makes no, no real overall difference, I don't think. Uh, is if I, were a, if I were to wake up as a native speaker of that language... That would mean that I would have no trouble communicating, and that is, at the basic level, the most critical thing. If you can communicate effectively and easily, you could pick up everything else you need. Uh, I just want it to be a language where there's some part of the world where I could go to where I'd be able to have a decent standard of living. That's the big key right there. Anyway, that's basically all for this question, so I'll leave it there. Uh, the, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'll, I'll leave it there. Uh, I had a thought that I was going to go on, and I thought, no, no more tangents. Anyway, uh, if you liked the video or you didn't leave a like or a dislike, uh, doesn't matter to me which one, uh, if you... Uh, want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to tell me I'm an idiot for the choice I, I just said I'd make, leave a comment. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.